Hi everybody, it's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets with your daily Go Market update as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, I'm going to give you a couple of charts of the day to have a look at. It is Tuesday the 13th of June. Let's see what's coming across the news wires today. Of course, overnight we saw a positive session on Wall Street again. All major indices posting significant gains in what was a broader-based rally, more so than perhaps we've seen for some time. But there are eyes on the CPI data, which is out tonight in the Fed, which is due to report its interest rate decision tomorrow. US futures are mildly higher in the Asian session, and Asian markets are generally higher following that positive US lead, although the ASX is trading between 0.1% and 0.2% to the downside at this stage. But of course, we were close tomorrow, so perhaps playing a little catch-up, as well as the caution about the data tonight. European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open, and the VIX Bounced a little bit off three-year lows, really reflecting the significance of the data that's due out the next couple of days. The US dollar index edged higher again to test the 200 EMA. Uh, gold remains mid-range, looking quite triangular, as though the market is waiting for some more information. And elsewhere in commodities, copper pulled back from resistance level a little, and oil is testing a key support level, although that is holding in Asia at this stage. Bitcoin is lower yesterday. May test the 200 EMA today, looking really quite weak. Uh, on the data front, we've got German CPI and UK jobs this afternoon. And, of course, that US CPI number tonight. We've got the FOMC decision tomorrow. Expectations are that they may pause around about 70% of the market. Around about 70% likelihood that that's the case is priced in. We've also got Eurozone and Japanese rate decisions also due later this week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we start by looking at the GB pound yen on the 30 minute chart. And you can see we've bounced off this key level around about 174.37 and moved back up to the pivot level at 174.82. Looks as though there could be a fairly nice move of around about 50 pips or so up towards this 175.23. Not sure it's going to have the legs to get up to that next R1 pivot, uh, as there was quite a lot of price action beneath that, both yesterday and the day before, but certainly a fairly reasonable move to the upside. On the ASX, we're keeping an eye on James Hardy. Uh, that is having a good session today. It's up around 1.8%. We're keeping an eye on this level here at 38.89% which looks like a key resistance level. It was tested three times last week and failed to breach it. If we look at the weekly chart, you can see there was previous price action here back in February in 2021 and October 2020. So this is an important level if we breach this. We could see this shoot fairly fast up to around about this $41 level, but certainly looks as though there's some buying pressure here in James Hardy Industries. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.